The resource that I'll be focusing on today I found in a paper in Genome Biology. So last fall, a group from Canada has published the draft genome and transcriptome of cannabis. Now this terrific team has evaluated a couple of different strains, actually. They looked at a medicinal marijuana strain, and they looked at a hemp plant, and they compared the similarities and differences to learn what was important. They published this paper, and this paper is open access. I encourage you all to take a look at this. So they found a lot of interesting uh, differences between these strains. But in addition to the paper that's available for you here, you can look at the genome and transcriptome data yourself in a genome browser that they created that's a companion to this paper. You can find that browser, hosted at the University of Toronto, the Cannabis Genome Browser. When I first arrived, I was delighted to see this as a UCSC Genome Browser software installation. What that means is that we've got freely available training materials that will help you understand how to use the software features here. We'll show you how to explore the genome, we can show you how to do a sequence search. We can help you to understand how to query the tables for the underlying uh, data. And you can perform in silico PCR. So there's a lot of different software things that you can do with the Genome Browser based on the UCSC Genome Browser tools. Today, I only have time to show you a couple of things. What I'll do is quickly show you how to browse the genome a little bit. So if you're here on the Cannabis Genome Browser and you click the link that says Genomes, you'll be presented with the Genome Browser Gateway where you can begin to search for things that you might be interested in. When you first arrive, the Purple Kush Medicinal Genome Assembly is the one that's available for you. But if you are interested in the hemp, you could simply switch the assemblies and look around at the hemp genome instead. For my purposes today, though, I'll continue to use Purple Kush. Now, one of the other great things that this team has done is they've highlighted a few of the important pathway genes here. So they know people are interested in these genes. These are some of the things that they were interested in as well. And what they've done is they've taken the pathway details. Th these are also available in the paper. And they've isolated these um, sequences, and they've presented them for you in table form. And you can go and look at any of these genomic regions. For my purposes today, though, I'm going to highlight one of the differences that they focused on in the paper. At the end of the pathway here, you can see that there's a precursor molecule, uh, this CBGA, that can lead to THC. If this synthase enzyme, this THCAS synthase enzyme, is used. And this appears to be turned on and expressed in the medicinal marijuana plants, but instead in the hemp plant, you have this other pathway that ends with CBDA, which is not a psychoactive compound. So it appears to be that one of the differences between the different strains is this um, enzyme gene that's right here. So I was interested in taking a look at this enzyme gene. And what that means is, I can go back up at the table, look for that gene, and if I click the scaffold link here, I'll be able to go to that genomic region and explore it. I could do the same search from above, but it's just as easy here to click the scaffold link and find myself in the Purple Kush Genome Assembly, looking at that genomic region with that synthase gene. Now here, there are some features that have been added for you to help you understand the genomic context. You could look at the mRNAs in this region. You can look at ESTs in this region. You can look at variations. We'll talk about those more in a minute. Here you can look at the transcriptome data. So there's some RNA-seq data here that indicates that this gene is highly expressed, especially in flowers here. It's not expressed in root, not expressed in stem. And if you go and you look at this, um, look for this gene in the, uh, the hemp plant, you'll see that it's not available and it's not expressed. So that's one of the key features, one of the key differences. Now you can turn on or off many types of data here, depending on what you want to see using the UCSC Genome Browser tools that you might uh, know about from using other genome browsers. Another thing that you might be interested in looking at is the variations. They're simple nucleotide variations. Some people also call them SNPs. And you might be interested in differences between the uh, medicinal um, marijuana genomes. Here we have the Purple Kush and we have the ChemDog. You could look at the differences here. Or you could look at the differences of the single nucleotide variations between hemp strains as well. So there's a Phenola hemp strain here and there's also another strain as well. So you might be interested in things that make the strains um, different or similar as well, using these variations. So there's a lot of things you can do to explore the Cannabis Browser. Uh, I would encourage you to take a look, learn how to use the Genome Browser, and find some interesting things. Thanks very much for your time.